Oh yeah, she stops. Is that a whip? Is that a wheelie? So this old pit bike here. This is a frame I bought at an auction. For like 15 bucks or something. And then this motor is just this little uh three horsepower that I bought up one here and I think that motor's junk, either the rings are gone or it's leaking oil or something. But I got like two rips out of it. This is something I did five or six years ago I was playing with. I wasn't even doing YouTube videos then. Uh, but yeah, just me and my buddy in the garage just going through parts that I had. Now, so I'm talking to the neighbor. We're talking about needing some pit bikes going here. And he said, hey, I seen that laying there. The back end of the property up against the, one of the sheds. So let's play with it. That motor is too small anyway, and I'm pretty sure it's junk. So I'm gonna root around in this box here and see what I have for power plants. I got some motors sitting in here. I think I might have had a motor that would have been about perfect for it. I'm pretty sure it went to scrap. Oh, that was sitting in a snow blower for years, and I didn't do anything with it, so it got scrapped. This here, I think, is a 212. Uh, yeah. I don't know anything about this motor. This came off a of goat cart. This is the one I'm really curious about. Here's a 99cc Predator. This is a four horse. This probably came off a of goat cart sometime too. I don't know actually where any of this stuff came from. I also found Diablo and Diablo too. A Linux operating system and good old Splinter Cell PC game here. Heavy. It's like stupid heavy for what it is. It's heavier than the old There's a four horsepower Briggs and Stratton. I'm thinking this might be it. Fuel tank's really big. Drop that off. Um, I think this carburetor is good. The choke works on it. Remember that. I'm pretty sure this one will start up if you give it some fresh fuel and maybe a plug. So this might be it. I think this compressor, I'm pretty sure there's a hole in this tank with this compressor, so. Eh, whatever. Yeah, this compressor is probably good, but it's probably not that big of a compressor to make it work doing anything with this thing. It's pretty old. This tank's small, rusted out. Didn't say I'm going to throw it out, but. Yep, the seat ripped off trying to move it, so we just lost the seat. The tires are flat. There's nothing even to the rear brakes, and I don't think there's anything in there. Um, it probably just needs like brake shoes. It's probably like a flat piece. Spin. Front brakes, uh, I think, do exist, but this cable kind of sticks up and looks like it's missing some pieces here or something. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. This is the rear brake. That might be in the way. By the time I'm done adding a big enough motor on this thing, I think it's some pegs off of here somewhere. I don't know what I, I thought I had a fuel tank laying around to put on this, but I don't. But I feel like there's one laying around somewhere off of like an old dirt bike or something. What do I got laying around here? I can rip the fuel tank off. Is there anything laying back here? No, there's some Jeep rims. Anybody need Jeep rims? There's some Rockwell axles back in there.
All right, this is the uh, 99cc Predator. There's no fuel in the tank. We'll give her a little bit of shot of this. I think the linkage is messed up on this. We got a wide open, maybe. Let's see there. I had it run a second ago, man. Anyway, you get the point. Put some gas in it, see what it does. Alright, I've been putting two stroke oil on these because I figured it'd probably be good for the cylinder walls after I'm done spraying them with cleaner. This one's pop. I think this thing might be good yet for maybe a different project. It's too big for this. This one, man, I got it off choke. He's running now. That might have to be the one. It's kind of great. That stopped the clutch, though. Oh, I stopped the clutch. I wonder if that's just too tight or something. Alright, we lost that bolt for the fuel tank. I'm going to put it in there. It's shaking too much. But, uh, you know, there it is, idling. The back wheel stays still. So I gotta rig up the throttle yet. This linkage still ain't right. But we'll get that fixed throttle seat. I think I might use a piece of like angle iron off these bolts, come out for foot pegs, and then we'll worry about brakes later. Okay, so I built some linkage and using some zip ties and I got everything kind of working here to work the hand throttle and I don't know how linkage is supposed to be set up. I might be losing, I might not be getting wide open throttle yet, I don't know.
Start in train, change, we're done. It's working for now, I'll just do a change. I need to tighten this up. I do need to add some links to this because the motor's sitting crooked. So, you know, that's no good. But I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit anyway. That where we're gonna leave it for now. Like you can see, it's kind of like wanting to pull off the sprocket here. It's just not lined up. I need like two more links. I don't have the right brakes though for 40 chain. I only have one for 35. Speaking of brakes, uh, this thing don't have any brakes. I want to put front brakes on it. I was looking around the shed and I found some of these brakes right here. So I'm thinking they'll probably fit inside that hub. It's about the same size. So I might even. I have another set too, but I think I want just front brakes. Need to burn out. So upon a closer inspection, actually, I just don't have um, the adjuster on this side. So you can buy them, but you can make them too. So I need to make one of those. And then this axle should actually slide up enough to where it will. Yeah, I got like an inch. So I should be able to slide this into place. So that's what I need to work on. Well, how far I can get out the first place. Yeah, I need the sunshine. If I can get the sunshine, I might even put my hand on it. Set fast. So we need an adjuster for this side, and uh, I don't have one down here at Dakota's. And we kind of came up with this. He also has a MIG welder, and I don't have a MIG welder. I guess I could have done that with a stick welder. Get that pack out. I we well that's because that washer stick. <laughs> I wasn't it, you know. Oh. There's like a fender washer, and just. Yeah. Just burning her up. As Dakota desperately searches for a washer, here's her tensioner in there. Should be a hand model. <laughs> Yeah, this then this one was it's really yep, that'll finish her up. Alright. I if anybody thinks I'm not doing anything, I'm holding the bike up because it doesn't have a kickstand. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but <laughs> you prop it up on something and it just never it just falls over on you. That, I'm bringing it back now. So it's just like you get it closed. Because if you don't wear anything, you lose her, I don't think. That's like perfect. You don't want to go back any farther. I'm just gonna make sure it's cool. All right. Damn! I forgot. You just need to really turn it up. That would be like a different welder. <laughs> it sounded way better. All right, so we made some modifications. This is a old pair of handlebars and weld on there for foot pegs. They're a little long, although they're comfortable and I, I like them long. I already scraped them. Uh, front brake is not going to work. We tried to adjust it and the cables just screwed up. So going back to the rear brake, and that's going to work out great because now it's just a heel brake, which I don't know if I can get that on the thing. Get out of here, dog. A little break there so I can just hit that with my heel. Anyway, uh, we gotta make linkage for that. Here's this little linkage piece here. We're gonna make it fit in there. Weld this bolt onto the rear of it. I gotta go up to my house. I think I have brake pads that are gonna slam right into this thing. So, cool. I think I even got the air cleaner for this up there. I'm gonna go look. So you can see. Wheel turns. Oh wait, wheel doesn't turn now. A little bit. Oh, look at that. It's all worn out. That shock mount. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, so we're gonna have brakes here in a minute. Take that out, Paul. 
up the linkage we're going to cotter pin it all in here yeah. you know we're making do with what we got I know it looks kind of crazy but it's like super solid it's super nice and uh, I mean look at these tires look spray painted up all dry rotted this everything's bent on this thing it's it's just a treat to ride in general so that's it's not even that sketch man not for this thing that's perfect I don't know. Enough to get it. We want to try to get around the. Uh, we're small, at the. I got smaller ones. Let's we're at the. No, that's perfect. Let's get. A, hold on. Where's the screwdriver? Got the fishing weight. The sinker. A little cooler. Cooler out. Quick shot. See if I see if I can do this without pinching my fingers today. Who just thought fishing gear sends you home? Oh yeah. Side of this is good. Wow. Alright, now let's get a spring on that thing. Aren't you glad you're not riding it? Oh yeah, she stops. Is that a whip? Is that a wheelie? She hauls out. Impressive. 